Hey guys, it's Lisa here. Today I'm here to share with you a little bit about bar exercises. Um, I have been teaching bar since two months ago and I got myself certified early this year. So I'm super eager to share with you what bar is about and we are going to use the next 20 minutes to have a quick overview about bar. What are some of the props we use in the bar exercises as well as some of the basic bar moves, yeah? So um, what exactly is bar? Bar is actually a series of exercises that have the elements of um, ballet, yoga, as well as pilates. So bar is actually quite different in other, in, as compared to other exercises is because it's not really on high intensity, but it's really about keeping the pace and there is a sequence that we follow. And of course, always listen to your body, understanding what moves that is most suitable for you. And there's always an element of modifications and different options we can go for. So as you know, bar, um, the major thing that supports the exercises is actually a bar but unfortunately now um, at home we are going to use a chair or if you don't have a chair with a high backrest here you can definitely go with the um, kitchen countertop you can hold your hand there and uh, that's perfectly fine and as for other props it's, it's optional whether you want to use it or not but if you happen to have like a small pilates ball that's really good and of course we have like hand weights, one kg is good enough, or if you want to, you can go for 0 0.5 kg. And sometimes to finish off the class, we will usually come down to the mat to do some Pilates work, and that's where sometimes we will need to have an elastic band. But you, if you don't have any of this, it's perfectly fine, and we can still go ahead and have a bar class without those at all. So um, another question I, I get to ask is basically what are the body parts that a bar exercises will be focusing on? So I would say generally it's more on the legs and the glutes and of course your arm work as well. Yeah, so but um, emphasis will be more on the lower body because we are doing a lot of movements with the legs and of course squeezing the glutes all the time. But you will still get a full body workout so don't worry about that. As at all as well, you definitely enjoy it with the um, pace that we go and usually we will have a, a beat, I would say music, that comes along with it that will keep the punch all along the class so that everybody gets motivated and move along um, all the way from beginning to the end. So um, besides that, of course, uh, the benefits of bar, it's really about improving your posture and having a stronger muscle tone as well as is talking about how we are more be giving awareness to our body, how we hold ourselves up all together. So these are the general benefits of bar. Yeah, and um, as for what form of um, requirement or prerequisite you need to have to jump into a bar class, there's really not none. Yeah, don't worry about how fit you are or whether you have done bar before or not. So that is not really required. It's really about just coming in, having fun, and just listen to your body and follow along. As and when you need to stop, you need to break. Feel free to do that. All right. So quickly, we are going into some basic positioning of a bar. So it's belly infused, so there are some terms that you might not come across. We might be familiar or might be new to you, but just take your time to slowly follow through. Yeah, so first I would like to introduce you to what we call the parallel feet position. So as you know, parallel feet means that your feet are coming together, your legs are squeezed together. So this is what we call the parallel feet. And we sometimes go into what we call the First position, so first position is where you have your heels stay together and your toes are fan apart. So this is what we call the first position. As for the second position, we are just going to take one step out, open up, the feet is slightly wider than the hip, and this is what we call the second position. All right, so that's all you need to remember as of now in terms of your feet positioning. As for the arms, Typically, we have the first position, which is you bringing your arms forward. Try as much as possible to keep your elbows soft, so your arm is slightly bent all along, all right? And this is the second position, so you're bringing your arms to the side. Again, elbow is stopped and slightly bent that way. Second position, and we have the 
fifth position. This is just right above your head. So these are the position that typically we will move along as we progress into the exercises. But again, if it's too much for you to remember or sometimes it's too much for you to be holding in that position, you're always welcome to place the hand on your hip just to keep a bit of stabilization and of course a bit of a balancing here. Yeah, and what another thing that is super important that we need to know is for bar exercises, we usually has to bend and straighten the knees quite a fair bit. So when we bend the knees, we will say that we are going down into our plie. Do you see bending and coming up to standing? So again, plie down and up. So I am doing a plie in my first position. So my feet is first position with the heels together, toes apart, and I'm bending my knee down, straight down and up. So I'm standing on the side profile for you to see. So as you can see, when I'm coming down, my back is straight. My bottom just go towards the ground. Awesome. It's not our typical squat position. So our squat position typically will go to the back, but as of for the bar exercise, when we plie, we go straight down and up. So this is plie in first, yeah? Plie in second, so again, bring our feet slightly apart and we are bending our knee and lift. So this is plie in second position and up. One more, lower, and up. awesome. Now coming back to your first position. So another move that you will hear very often in the bar is what we call the releve. Releve meaning it's heel away from the ground. So I, my feet is in first position and I'm coming up to a releve. So releve, lower, into my releve, and lower. So I'm in my first position releve, and lower. One more, up and down. So when I step up into my second position, I'm doing my releve in my second, lower, up and down, up and down. Awesome. Now we bring it back all together. So sometimes we also have to do a releve in our parallel feet position. So just bring your feet together having squeezed together and we just bring the heel away from the ground and lower away and lower good one more up and down awesome so now well done so you already have your basics here yeah so we are going to do a small mini bar sequence today meaning that we will be holding onto the chair with one hand and the other hand you may have an option to place it on your hip or as I progress, I may tell you where to put in your first, second, or in your fifth position. All right, as of now, let's just put our hand, our outer hand onto the hip, and we are coming into first position with our feet, yeah? So standing up tall, shoulders relaxed, chest open. We are just coming down into our plie, and up. Bend your knee to have your knees go to the side, and straighten it up when you start. Good. Let's go for eight more. Awesome. And remember to stand super straight with your back super long behind you. Good. So we are just going straight down and straight up. Another six. Good. Five more. Four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Now stay here in your plie. What we are going to do is just what we call the pulses. Yeah, pulses is just about an inch down and inch up. So we are going to stay low with the plie and get into our baby pulses. Good. So we are staying here for 10 seconds. About eight more to go. Awesome. You will feel over here that your quads is feeling a little bit warmed up here. Last five seconds. And four. Three. Two. One. Awesome. Straighten up your legs. Have a quick shake if you need to. Now, next progression is what we say we are going into our relevant. So, the next thing, down to your plie first. 
hole in your plie. If you can, lift both your heels up, away from the ground into your releve, and stand up tall, still in your releve. Yeah. So again, we are going down and up, staying in your releve. Down and up. Awesome. Down and up. Another seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Well done. Good. And last two. And one. Now stay in your relevé. Let's pulse in our relevé. Good. Pulse. Baby pulses. Don't have to be fast. Just keep pulsing. Yeah, you might feel stronger on this one. It's perfectly normal because our heels are up. Another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now stand up tall first and slowly drop your heel down back to the ground, back to your first position. So the next one, I'm going to check with share with you something what we call a tondu. A tondu in ballet terms is just keeping your of the leg straight and you're going to push the toes forward and bring it back. When you push forward, try to point your toes out and bring it back. So glide your feet forward and return. Push forward and return. Good, another five, another four, three, two, and one. Now, we are going to kick it forward and lift the toes up from the ground. So kick it forward and bring it in. Kick it forward, bring it in. Kick and in. With energy, snap forward, in. Back now, five, four, good, three, two. Try to have energy in your legs. And one. Awesome. Now we are going out into a side tondu. So keep the toes connected to the ground. So out and in. Out and in, out, in, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to kick it up so that the toes are away from the ground. Kick, snap it back, kick, bring it in, kick and in, four, five, four, three. Feel that your standing leg is working as well. Last two. Last one. Awesome. Now you got it. We are going to tondu to the back. Bring it in. Bring it up and in. Have the connection to your with the toes to the ground. Good. Another five. Four. Three. Two. One. Get ready. Kick it up. Return. Kick. Return. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Good. And have a quick shake on your legs if you need to. All right. And now we are going into another exercise here. So have your feet together. So we're coming back to what we talk about. Have our feet in parallel. And we're just coming down into our plie and lift the heel up into relevé. Just baby pulses here. Baby pulses here. Keep it here. Good. Now, we are going to introduce the arms here. If you can, bring your arms to first. Good. Balance yourself up in your roller way and keep breathing. For another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now, let's bring the arm together. Up and down. To fifth and first. Fifth and first. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Now keep pulsing. Do not stop with your legs. We're gonna step the outer foot upwards to the side and bring it in. Step in, out and in. Eight, seven, six. Your arms can go to second. Come back to first. Good. Five. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Stay here. Now back to your legs apart. Just the arms movement. Up, down, up, down, 
up and down for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, good. Finish up your pulse. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it in and have a quick rest. Well done. So this is a quick introduction on one side. Of course, if you do one side, we have to change it to finish off with the other side, right? So what we do is we just bring the chair around. Great. And we can immediately start with our first position. So remember the first position, feet is going to be standing in a V shape, heels together, toes apart. Stand up tall, shoulders relaxed, proud chest and down in your plie and up. Make sure there's some space between you and the chair so that you don't have to squeeze your arms in, yeah? Down and up, down, up. For five, good, four, good, three, and two, and one, good. Let's get down to do some pulses first, good. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay here, up to your runaway, lift your heels up and stand up tall. Good. And now bend your knee, up, down. So we are doing our plie in the runaway. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one good come down and pulse pulse i'm just going to turn aside so that you can see how my body position is so i'm keeping my back straight and i'm just pulsing down here good seven six five four and three and two and one good and bring it in and into our tondus so have the outer leg with a toe connection to the ground bring it forward Back to your first. Forward, back. Good. And out of six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, snap it up. Lower. Kick it up. Down. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And go to the side. Connection first. In. Out and in. Toes stay on the ground. Four, three, two, one. Now kick it up and kick it up in. Five, four, three, two strong legs there. One. Good. Now again, toes to the back, return. Toes to the back, return. Five, four, three, two, one, get ready to kick it up, return, kick, return, five, four, good posture, try to keep your chest up and shoulders down, good, last two, last two, last one, good, come in and have a quick shake on your legs here, yeah, so um, that's about it for now for this first introduction to the bar and I'm going to make up another video for another 20 minutes and for that 20 minutes we will be doing a sequence of some exercises yeah which is a little bit more in terms of um, body body position and of course with the arm movements and the legs movement so thank you so much for being here with me today appreciate it stay safe and i'm going to see you soon thank you bye